Show me where she is, because I don't know where to go. Alright. Let's try here. Room service. Well, sort of. Do you bring food? I'm hungry. Yes. Can I come in, please? Please do. Who's that? Is that the lady? You're not Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, I'm afraid you've a wrong room, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Here's the food. Thank you, dear. Well, I'll get go. It's a long time anyone came to see me. I'm sorry. I think it was two months ago. My grandchild came to see me. I really need... But I haven't heard from him since. Though I believe he got married lately. That's nice to hear. The girl... What was her name again? Was it Helen? I wouldn't know. No, believe I believe it was Helga. That's nice. But I'm off. Her father got his ankle broken. I wonder if he's alright now. I'm sure he is. Well, take care now. It has been awfully windy lately. Fall is going to come early this year. Yeah. I'm sorry, madam. I really, really need to get going now. Oh. Look at me tittle-tattle again. I understand you must be going now. Please take this for listening to my nonsense. Thank you, madam. You got a cowbell. Okay, <laughs> I wish you well. <gasps> Ooh, I could use it to wake the guy up. That that would be rude, but... Wait, no, I, I better keep this cowbell to myself. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see if I can touch anything here. It's a wardrobe. This might come in handy. Ooh, you found a hanger. Cool. Alright, let's see if I can... Hold on to one more thing. Anything else around? Wardrobe, wardrobe, nothing happening. Okay. And see, so yeah, I wouldn't want to start another another conversation. Okay, yeah, we better not do that. Let's just get going. <laughs> Before she keeps on going. Let's see. Alright, time to save that progress. And let's see. Maybe we can wake this guy up. And uh, I know that would be rude. Let's see if anything happens. There you go. Wake up! Finally! What? Shh. Hmm. Oh, well. I can't wake him up. <laughs> I will need higher powers for that. Let's try that again. Wake up! <laughs> yeah. That's... He's still sleeping there. What if I wake these people up? Oh, I can, I think. Hey. Whoa. Still no reaction. Oh, what's happening here? I feel like I've heard that whistle before. What's that, dear? Nothing, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh. So that didn't work on her. <laughs> I mean, it sort of did, but not really. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what else can I do here? Uh, there has to be... Oh yeah, I got the hanger. Maybe I should hold on to that for now. See, what does that do? Uh... Poking with a hanger seems rude. <laughs> yeah, why would I poke people with the hanger? Let's see. I think there's a better use for this hanger. Hmm. I wonder if I could use it for that uh that locked gate. But then there's no hole for a key, right? So that means Oh yeah. I didn't mean to go here. Huh. Where can I uh What can I use this for? That would be a waste of of a perfectly fine hanger. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Let's see. There's nothing. I won't touch the telly, not even with this hanger. Okay, I got nothing else. Huh, why would I need the hanger? There's a bathroom. Maybe for the bathroom, but why? Don't need to wash it. Not going to throw it away. I didn't plan to. I wouldn't just throw a hanger in the toilet. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I need to put with this. Yep. Not ready to die <laughs> by, ele by electrocution. Let's see. Look what I have here. What's that? Antenna? No, it's a hanger. Okay. So, <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. Uh, let's see. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's see. Uh, I keep forgetting my buttons. There we go. Spacebar, and... There we go. Let's try that cowbell. 
I got a hold of this cowbell. I was thinking maybe you could find it useful? That's nice of you. But I already have a bell to call the staff. Thanks, though. No worries. Hmm. Huh. So... What do I do with this? It kind of makes you feel like, you know, it's him mentioning that it's, it's a hanger. You could probably use it as a hanger so you could change the channel. What if it's for the TV? Not the, the TV in that room, but in the main room. I mean, it doesn't make sense. But, I don't know, maybe it will do something. I think I could ban this hanger to act as an antenna. There we go. <laughs> ha, it worked. I'm a genius. Ken Badcock is airing. And now that woke people up. Cool. My parents used to watch it when I was a kid. So many memories. Alright, finally I got this going. That took way too long. I am very sorry about that. Alright, finally I could get somewhere. Just gotta be Mrs. Goodwin's bedroom. But before I enter, I'll find her a flower. That's only polite. A flower? Where are you gonna get a flower? Can I talk to these people? No? Alright. Let's see. Hello? Anyone there? I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Ah! Oh, okay, maybe I can finally use that cowbell. And I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Try that cowbell. Service, please! Finally! Really? For the lady? Something, something. I have no idea what she's saying. I know. Listen, there's a door behind bars. I think I left my wallet there. So... I have no idea what she's saying. I don't know. I have no idea if that's what she's saying. Uh-huh. That's the yes, I take it? Yes. Okay, that is yes. Perfect, I suppose. Alright, so... Does that mean I can finally waltz in there? Because, uh... Happy nice for once. Let's see, I think she'll appreciate a flower more than a cowbell. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to keep that on there. Alright, so... Let's see what we can finally go in here. Yay! Finally! And I'm assuming... Uh, we are gonna find a flower here. And a big giant skull. Oh man. I wonder how long has she been here. These people are treated like cattle. I don't think she needs the flower anymore. I'll take it to Mrs. Goodwin. Okay. You do that rock your way. Let's see, I'll return the flower. Huh. I will need that flower. Huh, so I could give it back? Hmm. Huh. I kinda wanna do that. But then wait. Is this locked? The door won't budge. Okay, maybe I should put it back. Uh-huh. So I can't take that flower. Oh, maybe the guy that was here kept the flower from someone else and kept themselves trapped. Why would they do that though? They could have just put it back and bam, freedom. Huh. Okay, does this mean I'm gonna still need to look for a flower? I, I don't know anymore. Let's just try going in. This has gotta be Mrs. Goodwin's room. Before I enter. Okay, you still want to get her a flower. <gasps> Wait a minute. I could probably switch. Instead of letting the skeleton keep that flower, I can give it a cowbell. He might like that, maybe. That did the trick. Yay! Thanks for letting me keep that flower. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good trade, but it seems like it'll do, so... Alrighty, finally we can see Mrs. Goodwin. Oh yeah, I forgot to, I forgot I gotta equip that flower. There we go, I am totally prepared and ready, Mrs. Goodwin. This is Price, can I come in? I'm here, come in please. <sighs> Jeez, I felt that took forever. I was nervous and afraid. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe she would blame me. I was concerned of her well-being. I felt guilty and ashamed. Okay, so... Finally got to reach to her. I 
brought you a flower. How are you, Mrs. Goodwin? Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you, dear. I'm delighted you came to see me. Of course, madam. I still feel horrible for taking over your home. I shouldn't have done that. Stop it, young man. You shouldn't blame yourself. Thank you, Mrs. Goodwin. That means a lot to me. But still, can I do something for you? Anything at all? No, I... I have no one. I just wanted to see a familiar face before I'm gone. Madam, you don't deserve this. I'm just spineless... The spineless scallywag. But let me make this right. You can move to my place. I'll take care of you. It's not much, but anything beats this. Oh. You're such a polite young man. But I can't do that, dear. You have your own life and things to take care of. Me? I'm old. I won't be around for too long. Madam, don't say that. No, listen to me. Don't you blame yourself, young man. Besides, soon I will get to see my husband again. Madam, I will come see you every week. You can always call me if you want to talk. Thank you. Well, that's kind. And, and, it's getting sad. I mean, it's been, it's been sad, and it's also been strange and... And kind of nasty. I was so close. One more name. One last push. But something... Something has changed. Something inside me tried to make me stop. I ignored that something. I didn't stop. Mr. Jones was the last name on my list. Okay. Well then. I am gonna stop for now. Since... This is getting to the last person on the list. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more to it. Uh, at least for this area. But uh, after dealing with all that stuff, I'm going to just save for another time. So thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.